Welcome to video number two. In the first video, we built a meta template, which is the structure of the document. You can open your template to make changes, define default properties, and choose specific properties you'd like to show in your document. In the previous video, we started building our smart doc using that meta template as a framework. So let's continue building it now. You can add additional fields to your UI when viewing your smart doc by selecting the right panel column options. You can see here that the work item type column is already included. You can also choose additional fields that you would like to see within your UI. For instance, here we've selected the priority field. Then turn your column options on. And there you go. Whichever field you'd like to be included is included in your document. Now let's continue building this document. I'll go to this feature. Click the plus sign to add a user story, which I'll call user story 1. Under that same feature, I'll add user story 2. Then I'll add a test case underneath that user story. Work items created from your smart doc will be available in Azure DevOps in real time. You can also insert existing work items by clicking on the right panel, insert work items, and choose either query ID or table contains to bring in those work items. I already have a number of queries in my shared queries folder, so I'll go ahead and select one of those. Once I've found the work items I want to include, I can simply drag and drop them into my document. Now. If that work item is not able to be dropped in a certain place, it will be red. If I am able to drop that work item, and it will be green. So the epic can be dropped under a section. This was something that was set up in the meta template when we define the structure and our hierarchy for the document. Based on that structure, we can rag and drop a feature under the epic. We can also select some user stories and drag and drop them under the feature. Now that we've brought in our work items, let's go ahead and edit their details. You can double click on any of the work items to open them in the Smart Editor, which is a rich text editor that provides a lot more functionality than the standard editor. You can do things like changing the font family and size, adding color, changing alignment, and more. You can do things like inserting links and images. You can even insert a table directly into the description. This is hard to do with Azure DevOps, where copying from Word often loses formatting. But here with the Smart Editor with modern requirements, it is seamless. Formatting your table is easy. Simply select the area you want to work with and you can apply different types of formatting. For instance, table styles like alternate rows can be applied to your table. You can do things like change the style background or add cell styling. You can also add table captions. When you're ready, you can save and close the Smart Editor. When you turn your document view on, you will then be able to see the changes that have taken place in your document. In this video, we walk through how you can add both new and existing work items to your document and how you can edit and view your document in different ways. In the next video, we'll delve into editing more elements in the document and explore version management and creating a reusable document template. Thank you for watching.